Hello and welcome. My name is Richard Wilson, and it's time for the Artist in Review. Our guest today is Mr. Michael Curtis. Michael, how are you doing today? Uh, it's This is quite a pleasure to be here today. It's a pleasure for me, too. It's mm. been ages since we've seen you. I know. I, well, it hasn't been ages. Say <laughs> <It's> ages. <laughs> I feel aged, but not quite. <laughs> I was just a little boy the last time you were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, but it has, been, it has been about three years since you're... you're I think it was since at we've least seen you last year. Yes. Yes. And you are doing some fantastic stuff here. Thank this, you. A, a lot of people will look at this right off and they'll say, wow, uh, they'll say oil oil paintings or, or watercolors because there's a mixture of, of what's going on here. Uh, but this is all computer art, isn't it? Uh, a good part of it's computer art. It's what it is. If I, I'd have to explain it. it uh -huh. uh, I've been working extensively in the computer field at the present time. And I'm set up with a color scanner and a 17-inch monitor and the 486 and 2 gigabyte and the rest of it. And I have a fantastic graphics program with mm -hmm. Fractal 4 and uh, maybe they're listening. <laughs> expressions and all the rest of it goes. Send you the it. upgrade. Uh, right. And Corel 5, there's mm -hmm. another one. <laughs> and uh, these programs are all uh, unbelievably great for the graphic artists. Mm -hmm. It's actually the, I would say, like the oil of paints and the brushes of the artist of yesterday, like myself, you okay. know, it's, um, well, I've been actually involved in really attempting to go further and further into it because you can go into it, uh, that is, uh, learning the programs are sometimes very, very difficult mm -hmm. and it takes time. But uh, on the whole, the process that I've been using have been, you might uh, say in ancient terms, or rather in say in early 20th century, is a somewhat of a collage or a mm -hmm. montage type thing. Montage, of course, has to do with with the uh, movies and television, and uh, the collage, of course, uh, French word for paste mm -hmm. to paste on. And this is what I've been doing. I've been taking printouts from my computer and inserting them after I cut them in certain ways and into my illustrations and then that way uh, I have been able to reorganize these things into a kind of a oh what should I say a textural feast <laughs> I this, say. And this is I, uh, I've always wondered how you would do a computer artist would would right. display his works at the library but and, but, and you've answered my question right here this is uh, this is so interesting. This is so different and amazing. Uh, because m most people pig figure computer art. Right. They figure just they, they picture them just moving images on on the screen. Right. And instead, uh, or 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 a graphic that has just been printed up and copied off. Yeah. So this. So what we're seeing here is not something that would exist really on the screen. Correct. Ex exactly. So that you've, right. you've actually gone in. You've you've right. created your. What I've done, Richard, uh, is to alter the photographs that I've taken for my many of the um, jobs that I've had uh, doing uh, work for Arthur Anderson, Price Waterhouse, and working with a world-renowned architect. Uh, oh, go ahead and name him. <laughs> Spiro Spittore. <laughs> okay. You know, you've been with, dying to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, he uh, has done a fantastic job all over the country and in Toronto and uh, in these um, projects the accounting firms, these very big accounting firms, like original work. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they've called on me to do local scenery, and this is, so in many of the cases, I have to go up in very high buildings, like mm -hmm. in the case of Indianapolis job, I had to go up in the federal building and take pictures from the uh, top floor there, which is a great observation point. And, of all the areas around, and also this has this happened as well as in Charlotte. I finished mm -hmm. a job in Charlotte, North Carolina, and and uh, that was a fantastic thing. The Nation Bank Building, a beautiful, beautiful um, city. It's the tallest building in the southeast. <laughs> so this is so I could see all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. <laughs> no, not that case. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's quite interesting. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Nobody can see the Pacific from Charlotte. As you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's a. I should. I don't like to like the that trip I took to France. I really uh -huh. loved it. You know, uh -huh. I mean, as far as uh, plugging mm -hmm. the uh, country, of course, I, <laughs> I really gave it a great. <laughs> I, thought, I always felt I gave it a very good mm -hmm. uh, 
kind of well tell us publicity. Nothing. yeah tell us what you what is it that you're looking for uh, in well, these pieces because okay now first of all let's think about structure okay now you have structure all over mm -hmm. and I think the most impressive thing about uh, the structure is the uh, is the fact that it uh, uh, it's it's so in an intrinsic part of our life. You could see it in, right down to the very smallest cell to the mm -hmm. to uh, any kind of visual experience you have that uh, enters. And uh, I believe it's the very heart or the very essence of uh, art. And uh, and in, in a relatively in our world, I mean, it, I wouldn't say it's it's uh, the for the average person everything seems to be such confusion and mm -hmm. lack so much structure that for me to come along and do these things I feel that I've hit something that is uh, will create a better visual experience mm -hmm. for someone who is looking for that sort of thing hence you have an aesthetic experience you see that Th that is, that, is uh, uh, it is. I, I can see where you're coming from. Uh, it's, it's, <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, and then on top of that, you have texture. Mm -hmm. Okay, texture. Now, there's a lot of texture uh, in the world today that we don't even notice. I mean, mm -hmm. but that especially today, because uh, with the machinery and everything that can be produced, and I notice uh, even on the co on the computer how you can come up with the textured surfaces of things, mm -hmm. and, so, and it's a fascinating thing. There's an unlimited number, and uh, when when I do these things, I usually cut them apart, mm -hmm. try to get the most interesting textures that I can, and imprint or, uh, or paste them right into my illustrations, and that way uh, it enlivens them and creates uh, nice rhythmic patterns and an interesting visual experience. No. You're talking about about the texture. Yeah. So essentially, if if I'm understanding this correctly, you're, you're essentially uh, to use a a fifty dollar word deconstructing. Yes, uh, yes I de that's them. exactly right. I do deconstruct the the uh, pictures, the photographs on the computer, mm -hmm. and um, reinsert uh, some things like lines and and uh, colors and so forth, and change the nature of that, and then print them out on a color printer mm -hmm. and of course it's a small one you know like eight by ten mm -hmm. it's not that big and then uh take parts of that and insert them into the illustrations well so. when when you were looking for let's talk a little bit about about the hardware yeah uh did you have a hard time finding because there's there's a, so much out there by way of printers right. and right. software did you have a hard time narrowing it down to just to the few programs that you do use well, I've tried a lot of programs, but I felt the most effective one has been, to date, has been the Corel program mm -hmm. and also the Fractal uh, 5 program. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're expensive, but they're well worth it. They're yeah. a lot of fun. A lot of those professional yeah. programs go for, you know, people see video games. The game right. is going oh, for yeah. 40 $50, but they go I look know. at real, real professional so software for four, five hundred, six hundred dollars 500 $600. Exactly. Right. And well, in the pursuit of this sort of... Uh, Obsession with structured uh, textures or mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, you have Ray Dream Designer, which oh, I uh, yeah. have, and uh, it gives you a kind of a three-dimensional quality to the work. And mm -hmm. uh, whenever I use it, it's a very complex program. That, but most painting, I have to acknowledge, you're working on a flat surface, and mm -hmm. uh, it's a flat plane, and uh, so that that's a little bit inadequate. At, uh, but I, I would imagine, though, that your experience has as a traditional painter as well yes. and would have been useful for that. Right, right. Yeah, it would have been to a point, but um, I've always have a t had a tendency to paint a lake uh, early 20th century, uh, mm -hmm. plane upon plane, and uh, rather than uh, more realistic, uh, using perspective, you know, mm -hmm. earlier Renaissance techniques and, and so forth. And it's so nice with the uh, with the computer hours that you've got all those undo buttons too. Exactly. <laughs> right. So if you see boom, I don't like that. Hey, well, that's exactly it. That. You can you can change things so much around, mm -hmm. and uh, it's fun. It it really is. It's a great thing. Now, what about in printing? Because there are so many. If 
do you have do you, do you use like a high well, resolution printer? Uh, yes. Or, uh, the uh, printer I use comes out with a C seven hundred and twenty DPI, which okay. is extremely. It's pretty high. Mm -hmm. And one of these days it'll be further than that. Though I mean the way printing is going today, mm -hmm. but uh, the uh, average printer probably is around three sixty. Comes out at three sixty DPI, which is adequate, but. In my case, I use a much higher resolution, okay. and uh, you can see the results. It's now, much better. In in pieces of works like this, um, I'm, as you can see, I'm talking about getting right. loud into the technical things. So there's there's so much here. Uh, what you're printing up are just the the actual textures, not the actual picture itself. Am I am I correct in that? Uh, no, I'm ab I'm I'm uh, printing out. Uh, if I take a photograph, I will print out. I, put, I will put it on the computer, and then I will change things around in there, okay. and uh, I will improve it. Okay. It's like a photo retoucher. That's probably the closest thing I can say to it. All right. By using the variety and the abundance of different kinds of techniques that you have on the computer to make it even more interesting than what it is, and then after I print them, then I can cut them up and insert them into uh, illustrations. It gives it another added uh, dimension, more okay. structured. Uh, so, so in the sense. You are cr what you're doing is you're, you're creating the tools for the work. I'm on using the, computer. the tools. You're, you're yeah. using the tools. Yeah. You're not so much as creating. So th this is, if if I'm understanding this correctly, uh, it seems that you're, you're. This is more like a painter actually making the paints. Exactly. Right. Okay. Yeah. So then this like a piece that we have here would not exactly exist on a hard drive or something like that unless you were actually to take a photo of it. That's right. Yes. Okay. The. Uh, uh, this, well, this, the way this was conceived of is, is a, this was an original painting mm -hmm. in acrylics, and um, the uh, subject matter, of course, uh, I always I approach it be realistically because I uh, face it. Uh, people like realism, and it, oh, yeah. I, I like uh, I, I favor tend to favor realism. You know, it, <laughs> what it does is you don't have to go through that extra up uh, that extra of uh, say. Um, hurdle of trying to understand what you're looking at and saying, well, we're going to be. I mean, these things are great as far as art is concerned. I mean, they, they stimulate the imagination and all that, but I don't know. Somehow I don't have time to pull around with that. Kind of, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, don't quote me on that because <laughs> it's too well, late now. <laughs> I'm getting a master's degree in Wayne State University at Art Fine Arts. I don't know. <laughs> but I went through the abstract mm -hmm. phase when I was doing a lot of abstract work, mm -hmm. and uh, it's fascinating. So I think in a sense it helps to come back to this mm -hmm. uh, as a ba uh, the abstract work it's great and then you come back to this realism so much of this is extremely abstract anyway the, the word abstract means to take from mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, you're taking from nature as a sense uh, okay well what we're going to need to do now is take a, a short break right. so join us okay. uh, we'll be back Mac we'll be <laughs> we'll be back with more of this interesting conversation with this month's artist okay. of the month mr. Michael Curtis don't go away <laughs>
welcome back to the Artist in Review. My name is Richard Wilson. I'm filling in for Nancy Gage, who's preparing, our regular host Nancy Gage is preparing dinner for her son's wedding. So she's doing the, uh, the, the rehearsal dinner and she's cooking all that food for us. Uh, uh, well, not for us, but for them. <laughs> right. Like you needed to know that. What you do need to know is our, our artist of the month is Michael Curtis. Uh, he's a fantastic artist, and he's still here with us. <laughs> thanks for sticking around through the show and through my botched opening. <laughs> well, thanks for the adjective fantastic. I never heard that one yet. <laughs> well, I really, do, I really do like what you've got here. Because thanks, it's, That's good. It's, 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 for me, is this totally unusual piece yeah. of, of computer art. Yeah. Uh, for the, anybody who's missed the first few moments of the show, uh, these are all, com well, it's all computer art, but it's all textures that were created, and then it's done, it's actually glued on the paper, uh, as you would a, uh, a regular collage. Yes, inserted into the, into, into the illustrations. It's a very, and, uh, very yeah. exciting piece well, of work. Well, I tell you, the, uh, on a very large scale, if I were in New York, I'd be probably doing things like Robert Rashenberg, who mm -hmm. was... Uh, uh, very famous for that sort of thing. And if you ever looked at a, closely at a Robert Rashenberg, who is considered to be one of the top-notch artists in this country today, uh, he uh, takes bits and assemblages of uh, he assembles mm -hmm. shapes and things. And um, if you go back in the whole history of art, you can go all the way back to Matisse, who does similar things. Mm -hmm. uh, even on his late age, he was, I think one of the most notable. Photographs. I think it was done by Karsh of him sitting in bed cutting out these cutouts, Matisse. <laughs> mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, collage is a uh, is a very reputable kind of uh, art expression. It uh, comes from the uh, French word cola, which means to paste. Oh. And contrast to montage, which is a which is more movies and mm -hmm. TV. It's a, well, so, you're uh, just. Uh, well, I have a to add a font of foreign knowledge here. <laughs> <laughs> I have to add a bit of uh, what repartee to this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, to uh, what is the word? Uh, well, anyway. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway. uh, these are all scenes of uh, uh, most of the things that I've done here have been uh, uh, sort of uh, impressions that I gathered from different places that I've gone to and different cities that I've mm -hmm. done work in. Yeah, you do have. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about some of the stuff they do have here. Yeah. Uh, now you said this one was based on an acrylic painting. Uh, that oh, that was an, uh, originally an acrylic painting, mm -hmm. and um, the uh, I, yeah, I I felt it was very unexciting, and it just didn't strike me as being uh, very uh, eventful in the sense that it imparted any kind of aesthetic uh, kind of impression to me, or rather. Uh, you know, there's a certain hit that gets mm -hmm. when we do something good. So I started to work with pieces of paper on it, and I inserted a boat in one part and a building here and all that. And as I put these things into it, it became more and more interesting. And this is the way it comes about, this sort of thing. And then, of course, I had uh, paid to, to different parts of it as I worked, too, to correct the composition in different ways. Because mm -hmm. if you put up, uh, if you say uh, you have to balance out your shapes and mm -hmm. forms on the uh, canvas so that means that some uh, expression with the brush as well so I do use that as well these other scenes of course were all uh, parts of different cities and, mm -hmm. uh, in which I cut out uh, parts of uh, the scenes from the photographs that I had made and put through the computer and on the printer and um, and inserted them right into the illustration and of course there's a great deal of changes in these things and uh, you move them around a lot and mm -hmm. play with them and use uh, I have a great pile of paper from that I uh, pictures that I've used and mm -hmm. uh, these things all work out pretty well that way so no, I've, I've seen some of these like uh, this this one here yes. and and the piece that are next to you yeah. are this is the more. St. Lawrence by the way but mm -hmm. I see on this I move the buildings uh, the St. Lawrence is much wider than this obviously <laughs> but uh, this was in uh, Quebec City and uh -huh. I move the um, I move the buildings in the far in the far distance up very close to make a more interesting composition and then mm -hmm. I threw in some trees in there to to create more of a natural scenery and uh, give it more of a uh, 
a balance of uh, color and shape. So if one well were looking for this landscape, they would not find it then? Oh, no. <laughs> no, they might find parts of it, though. Uh -huh. Yeah, they might find the buildings and all that. If they really looked very closely, they would mm -hmm. probably find the buildings. I don't know about the sailboats. Sailboats are uh, they're like church steeples, you know, mm -hmm. sails. <laughs> and they are little inspiring yes. shapes, really. Yes. And they add to the, uh, uh, well, they add to the... Uh, well, to the feeling the, of the The piece, general feeling the emotion the, as well. Right. Well, but what, what I meant to say is that these two pieces here are very much in the, tr in the vein of a traditional landscape painting. Yes, very and much And even so. to a lesser extent, this piece is here, too. Yes. But this piece here, while it's a cityscape, a landscape, yes. I also see that you've, there are times I look at it. Yes. And I, I see that there's more, it is more like a, like a top view, like I'm looking down. Yes. So it's been de a very, uh, very cubist in a way, if I'm, if I'm using the word uh, correctly. Yeah, in a sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <coughs> the, <coughs> in this, <coughs> I've tried to create more of a, uh, a pattern, a rhythmic pattern of, of uh, geometric shapes you know, to, uh, give you an overall feeling of the city, the clutter of the city, and so forth. Mm -hmm. This is one thing that you might have noticed if you go up to a very high place. I was in Chicago a few weeks ago, and we were on top of the, uh, I was taking photographs from Chicago, mm -hmm. and the top, I was on top of that, um, oh, the... Sears uh, Tower? Sears Tower, mm -hmm. yes. Very interesting experience. Oh, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a, you can look all around. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> I noticed that the... The city, the the uh, the geometric forms are so impersonal and so, let's say, um, uh, so remote in a sense, and so that you almost feel as if you were um, in another world. And uh, uh, you see here, it's like you were inside uh, a person's, uh, the builder's head, looking out to. You know, well, mm -hmm. uh, I can't <laughs> explain this. It's a geometric experience, mm -hmm. though, that uh, there's a placidness about square mm -hmm. things. Let's put it that way. Okay. And uh, the, uh, you get this sort of thing, and when you, the world around you is so full of confusion, and you don't know what's happening from one day to the next, and there's so much, so much uh, mayhem mm -hmm. that uh, to have a solid, structured, kind of uh, experience is very often very comforting and very oh. uh, aesthetically uh, pleasing. So I don't know if that that's explains the, it or not. But, uh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that's a good way of looking at it. Yeah. Uh, let's, uh, how, has, how, have your work, how has your work been, uh, is it being appreciated by the public? Are they understanding your pieces? Or do they just say that, oh, well, that's interesting, and move on to the next? Uh, How's the public? No, I haven't, really, I haven't really done too much... Um, exhibiting in galleries. I did mm -hmm. a great deal of it in the past, but uh, recently I haven't done too much of it. I have a, a private source from which uh, handles my work. And, okay. uh, I have a gallery in San Francisco that's interested in my work, and, uh, one in Chicago, and uh, so I do have some sources of getting it out. Well, that's good. Uh, this area hasn't been too good, but uh, <laughs> Well, well, you know, we have, uh, I'm sure there's some good people, Birmingham and all, and good galleries, <laughs> and, but I haven't, I haven't been there in years in Birmingham. Probably. Okay, well, uh, tell us a little bit how you got involved with, with the architect. Your work, uh, your work oh, with uh, Spiro, yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh, well, I had some work in the Toledo Art Institute, mm -hmm. and um, uh, they, they happened to be down there, and uh, he happened to like it very much, mm -hmm. and uh, it seemed to fit in with his... Uh, his work that he does all over the U.S. and he mm -hmm. felt this this would be adequate. So uh, this he, I presented some paintings to him and uh, he was very pleased with them. And we went ahead and uh, have have you ever been? No, I, I know for a lot of buildings they they want tremendously huge pieces of artwork right for for the walls. And the largest piece that we see here is about what 16 right. by 24. Exactly. Well, these things could be enlarged quite mm -hmm. a bit photographically. So, oh, so they, you can't. So the lithograph. Oh, yeah. They could that, they okay. very easily be enlarged and made even more impressive than this. But uh, the, I know the work that I've done in the past for Arthur Anderson and Price Waterhouse, these different mm -hmm. accounting firms and all that, have been very large things. Now, well, what's 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 next for you? Where where do you go from here? Well, I tell you, Richard, I'm really enthused with the uh, computer, and I <laughs> intend to spend more time working mm -hmm. with it and becoming more introverted. 
Just kidding. With the Howard Hughes <laughs> of the 90s. <laughs> nah, nah. nah. <laughs> okay. But no, I, I'm uh, waiting around for some more work to be done. Okay. So I'm most likely I'll be on okay. my way. And uh, no, I was I, out west, and I was in Utah uh, about uh, four months ago, and mm -hmm. uh, the area really intrigues me. I don't know if you've ever been out in that area. It's uh, Arches National Park and Salt Lake City. Area. Beautiful country and fascinating country. So, in fact, I'd like to live out there, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, it's, 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 it's a great altitude. <laughs> okay, right. okay, well, thank you very much, Michael. Uh, good luck uh, with your show and okay, uh, with your upcoming work. Yeah. And, of course, I'd like to thank you, too, for joining us on this month's Argentine Review. Uh, Nancy, come back soon. We miss you. And, of course, uh, uh, I'd like to, before we go, I'd like to congratulate our producer, uh, Randy Novak, who won uh, an award for this show, for this sh uh, as Outstanding Achievement as a Series right here on WTRY uh, amongst government access channels. So right. congratulations uh, to you, too, uh, Randy, and uh, get well soon as well. And uh, we'll see you next time on another Artist in Review. Goodbye. Uh, very good. Very good. good. Yeah. Well, I